Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God delivers his people from the snare of the fowler in two senses, from and out of. First, he delivers them from the snare. He does not let them enter it. Secondly, if they should be caught therein, he delivers them out of it. The first promise is the most precious to some, the second is the best to others. He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. How? Trouble is often the means whereby God delivers us. God knows that our backsliding will soon end in our destruction, and he in mercy sends the rod we say, Lord, why is this? Not knowing that our trouble has been the means of delivering us from far greater evil. Many have been thus saved from spiritual ruin by their sorrows and their crosses. These have frightened the birds from the snare of the fowler. At other times, God keeps his people from the snare of the fowler by giving them great spiritual strength so that when they are tempted to do evil, they say, How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? But what a blessed thing it is that if the believer shall, in an evil hour, come into the net, yet God will bring him out of it. O backslider, be cast down, but do not despair. Wanderer though you have been, hear what your Redeemer says. Return, O backsliding children. I will have mercy upon you. But you say you cannot return, for you are a captive. Then listen to the promise. Surely he shall deliver you out of the snare of the fowler. You shall yet be brought out of all evil into which you have fallen. And though you shall never cease to repent of your ways, yet he who has loved you will not cast you away. He will receive you and give you joy and gladness, that the bones which he has broken may rejoice. No bird of paradise shall die in the fowler's net.